been a while since I've posted any new videos, and there's a good reason for that. The main reason is because I launched a, a group called the Open Book Club, where I'm sharing most of my tutorials, behind-the-scenes content. You can check that out at jordanpowersphotography.com slash education, or just click on the link below if you want to look more into that and see the videos that I've been making. However, this one I wanted to make public because it's not often, like I get asked to review a lot of products, but I don't really like doing those. This is a little different because I think this plugin or this, 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 this effect that's come out is actually a game changer for the industry. Full disclosure, there is an affiliate link below. So if you click on it, I will get a little bit of a kickback. Um, I'm not doing this just for that though. You can feel free to go to motionvfx.com on your own if you don't want to support this video or what I'm doing. Um, it's not about making money. It's really legitimately about sharing this cool, creative, and simple to use tool that I think everybody in the real estate photography industry is really going to benefit from. So some of you may have noticed that today, Motion VFX launched a brand new plugin called MTracker 3D Area. Now this, I've, I've had the good fortune of being able to play with this plugin the last few days. It's exclusively right now for Final Cut Pro, but I just wanted to show you a brief not really even a tutorial, but just a brief example of what you can do with this program. Now, I haven't seen any full tutorials on how this, how all the things you can do, but it seems like there's a lot of possibilities within this plugin. So today, I just wanted to show you a quick demo of what I was able to do without any instructions, and I'm not very smart when it comes to technical, technical stuff, as some of you may have noticed in some of my previous videos, but this thing is super easy and intuitive to use. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Final Cut Pro, and I'm going to show you a few of the things you can do. Now, if any of you have used the MTracker 3D plugin, um, you're going to find that this is not very much different than that. The difference is, is this 3D area gives you different templates that are built around um, aerial footage for the most part. Now, a lot of you have seen tutorials on how you outline the ground in certain areas in your drone footage. The MTracker 3D area plugin allows you to do this with just a few clicks of a button. So we're just going to do a quick demo. I've got four different aerial, aerial clips here. Um, and again, I haven't in, explored this in its entirety because it looks like there's a lot you can do within this. But I need to see a few more into, uh, tutorials on some of the things that other people are doing before I can really get into uh, this plugin and figure out what all the options are. But just from a plug and play, just a drag and drop kind of uh, approach, I'm very surprised at all the things that I can do. So we're going to start with this aerial footage of downtown Nashville. So the first thing you do is you drop the M Tracker 3D effect onto the clip. You're going to see this button that says track the footage pop up. You just hit that. And in just a few minutes, it's going to take up to five minutes or so, depending on the length of your clip. It's going to analyze all the frames. It's going to create tracking data that you're simply going to copy and paste onto the template that you want to use. So I'm going to fast forward through this part and we'll pick back up when this is finished. So as this is wrapping up, I've already tracked all the other ones so that you don't have to sit through all that. Um, but I'll show you some of the things you can do with this. Again, I'm not exactly an expert at this. This is not a tutorial. It's more just a demo to show you what kind of things you can do. And this is not even advanced stuff. This is just when you first install the program and start messing around, you can do this. So we've got the whole track uh, or the whole clip tracked. All we do is we come over here, we hit copy track. And we find the different effect that we want to um, add. So let's just pick a random one here. We'll start with, oh, I don't know. We'll start with this outline here. So, and we can expand this as, as far as we want. It doesn't really matter. Um, but all we really do is we just, we find a place on the timeline that we want to start that's, that shows a good vantage point. Now we take the copy track, we select the plugin or the title, and we hit paste track. So that's going to paste all the tracking data onto this clip so that no matter where you drag it in the timeline, it's going to pick up where the tracking data is from the clip below, which is super nice. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to zoom in to this building here, which is the building that I actually was shooting. We'll go into 150%. And it's, I haven't done anything special. I haven't paused this and started it again, just so you can see. All you literally do is you just start clicking where you want tracking points to be. Now, I will say, if you find the next tracking point is within this frame, you've got to kind of go outside of it a little bit, and then you can adjust it and bring it back in. So we're going to go ahead and do that, bring this down. 
And you can already see the outline starting to take shape. Go outside of it a little bit, bring it back. And this is going to be quick and dirty. Like I said, you can really get in here and take your time doing this. But we're just doing a quick demo. And you guys, you can, I'm, I'm not doing anything special. It's as simple as that. I don't have to click any more buttons. It's ready to go. So we're going to go back to fit. And I'm literally just going to hit play. And as you can see, it's just tracking along with it. It doesn't, there's nothing else you have to do. So that's, that's just the basics. We'll go to a different clip here. And like I said, I already have all of this copied, or I already have all this tracked, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy the tracking data. And we can pick any one of these other outlines here. We're gonna go ahead and select uh, maybe this one here. And again, it's all already copied or tracked, so we just have to paste the tracking data onto the title and start clicking around. So let's just say we wanna highlight all of this acreage I'm pretty sure this, pro this property line is relatively close to what the actual property line was. It doesn't have to be perfect right yet. You can always adjust this later too. But as you can see, it automatically creates these lines. And you can go in and adjust things. There, you can make all kinds of adjustments. Like if this wasn't correct, I can fix it. Um, you can come in here and you can adjust the line settings. You can adjust the point settings if you want the points to be a little less... Uh, Obvious, but like I said, you don't have to add any, you don't have to do anything else technically. You can just hit play and it tracks it automatically and it's very smooth. You don't have to do any kind of additional stabilization or anything like that. Now, if you've ever had to, if you ever tried to track property lines before, you know that it's been, it's, it's kind of difficult in, in Resolve. You have to go into mo, um, uh, Fusion and you have to do all that. Prior to this plugin, as far as I know, I don't know of any other plugins that do this. There, there might be some out there, but I've never seen anything that makes drawing property lines this easy. I had spent hours outlining a plat map um, for uh, vacant, vacant lots before, but let me just show you how quick it is to do. Now, this whole section here, these are all different lots. So you've got probably, I don't know where they ex exactly are, but you could have a reference sheet next to you showing where the maps are, and you can easily draw things out. So um, we're just going to kind of do that really quick. So we can do multiple, and we'll just copy this tracking data, paste it onto here. We'll say OK, and we'll say this is one lot. And again, I don't know how accurate these lot numbers are, but you, just to give you some, oops, just to give you some ideas of what's what's possible. Let's see. Back here. So we'll consider that one lot and then we'll add another one down here. Paste the track on there. Make this the same length. So we know one lot is right there. Oops. And we can like label this one as sold if we want to. We can put some text on there. Um, you can add, you can use the motion, the M Tracker 3D. There's some titles in here you can add if you want to. So I could add a track down here that says sold. And we can shrink this. Paste the track in there. Oops. So, yeah, if I, I'd have to go in there and mess around with it a little bit more, but you can kind of see, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you can kind of see how you can build out plats pretty, plat maps pretty easily with this. And this is all something you can do within a few minutes. So imagine if you're a real estate photographer, adding this as an upsell to your drone footage. Let's just say you sell it for an additional $50 to $100. I'm not saying that's the price, 
But this is something you buy this plugin and everything, and within a few minutes you can have these. Now keep in mind, this is not something you're going to do for every single clip. Obviously, it, it does take about five minutes just to copy the tracking, just or just to track one individual clip. But even if you were adding this just to a few clips, imagine the value that it would add to your video production. So I'm really excited about this. I hope you guys are excited about it as I am. Uh, don't let me know if you have any questions because I probably don't know the answers. Again, this is just me digging in for the first time. And I've only been playing this for a couple hours. And I, I have a pretty good grasp on what you can do. I just haven't gotten super deep into the the nuances and, and as far as you can push it. I know there the, with as much as you can do with just a few clicks and all the controls that I see that are available to you in the panel, I can imagine there's a lot of very cool things you can do that I just haven't imagined yet. So I look forward to seeing some of the other tutorials that other users are going to put out in the coming days, weeks, and months. And uh, yeah, I guess just, I don't really have any answers for you if you have any specific questions on how this works. The only thing I know for sure is that currently this is only working for Final Cut Pro. So you have to be a Final Cut Pro user. I'm primarily a Dimitri Resolve user, but I do have Final Cut Pro. So I was able to install it and test it out. And I, I got to say, I will be using Final Cut Pro to put this on some of my clips. I, th I think it really does add that much production value to especially drone videos where you're dealing with empty land. So hopefully you found this helpful or insightful, but I would definitely encourage you to go check this out. Thanks for watching.